So a few days ago, I watched Seven Prisoners, and I'm so happy I did because this movie has so much purpose, it's fantastic. So I wanted to give my explanation on the ending, what the ending means, why Mateus never killed Luca, why Mateus joined Luca, and one major theme that I believe drives forward this entire story, which is relentlessly raw and gripping. The major theme of this movie and this video is the illusion of choice, where we'll discuss Mateus's escape attempt, Mateus's rebellion, the consequences of escaping versus the consequences of joining Luca, the crooked police, the human trafficking sequence, Mateus and Luca's relationship and similarities, and of course, how this all relates to the ending scene with the scar on the arm. And if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and a comment, it helps so much. And if you want to see more of these, please make sure to subscribe as well. Let's get started. Theme number one, illusion of choice. The entire premise of this film is that Mateus, a poor 18-year-old boy from the countryside, is hired for a mysterious job opportunity at a junkyard in Sao Paulo. And soon enough, we learn that Mateus and the boys were not hired for a job. They were manipulated into becoming modern slaves. And as Mateus starts to realize this, he leads the boys in making multiple efforts to escape this life-ruining situation. There's a moment early in the film where Mateus and the boys knock Luca to the ground and try to run through the opening of the driveway. And several instances even earlier in the film, where Mateus stands up for himself and his friends, demanding to be paid and treated fairly. However, as this movie progresses, we get a few critical moments where our main character, Mateus, is presented with the perfect opportunity. The opportunity to escape. And for some reason, as catastrophic and torturous as Mateus' situation is, he never makes the choice to escape. It seems that over the course of this story, Mateus makes this continuous, gradual shift from rebellious leader of the boys to obedient partner of Luca. He went all the way from good guy to bad guy. And I'm sure some viewers may wonder, why did he choose to become what he was trying to defeat? Why did he choose not to drive off in the open running car? Why did he choose not to shoot Luca, who was passed out with a gun right next to him? Why did he choose not to tell the labor investigators what was really going on? The reason is because he didn't choose. Choice doesn't exist for Mateus anymore, ever since he entered that driveway and met Luca, and Mateus realizes that. And here's what I mean. There are two possible outcomes for the predicament that this movie presents. One, Mateus could help the boys escape, or two, Mateus could work loyally alongside Luca. So let's investigate the first outcome. If Mateus helped the boys escape, they would likely be found and or killed or put into a similar situation, considering how corrupt the police system is and how wide-spanning the human trafficking business is in their community. And if the boys did somehow get away, they could never see their families again because that's the easiest place to find them. And even if they did return home, their families will likely be tortured, kidnapped, and or killed. And the boys would have to live with the guilt of putting their freedom and well-being above the freedom and well-being of their family members. Now let's investigate the second outcome, which is what actually happens in this film. Mateus could prove his loyalty to Luca, and as a result of this, Mateus can further ensure his survival and his family's survival, and he can provide adequately for his family. And Mateus can eventually work his way out of this area into more livable and comfortable conditions, as he does. The big issue with this situation, however, is of course that Mateus has to live with the guilt of putting his freedom and well-being over the freedom and well-being of the other boys. But if Mateus had escaped in outcome one, he would also have to live with the guilt of putting his freedom and well-being over the freedom and well-being of his family. In Mateus's tragic circumstances, the only thing he can do is become a part of this evil system that runs his environment. It's in my opinion, the saddest and most heartbreaking aspect of this film. And I think it's essentially the primary theme this film is proposing the illusion of choice. Mateus realizes he was born in a system that is so much bigger than him, and he alone will never escape it or defeat it. This is why we're shown the scene with the corrupt police department and the sequence giving us a glimpse into the massive human trafficking business. And it's also why when Mateus asks how many victims of modern slavery are there, Luca says, enough to keep this city up and running. That copper wire came from the junkyard. Look at your work across the city. 
And the one thing I hate to say, but I have to say, is this concept of a civilization built on suffering relates to almost everyone's life. Whether it's the food we eat, the devices we own, the buildings we live in, or the land we live on, we are all almost guaranteed to be connected in some way to something awful. It's just sadly how many societies are built. And this is why we get these silent wide shots of the city simply running like a normal city. We see it differently when we know what goes into it and how it's built. Matthias no longer sees the city as this beautiful place where he and his friends can aspire to live in the highest and most extravagant apartment. So for someone as disadvantaged as Matthias, who is at the very bottom of the system, the choice just doesn't exist. And this illusion of choice carries over from generation to generation, which is signified by the character of Luca. Matthias and Luca are essentially the same person in society, just at different stages in life. It's almost as if Matthias is talking to his future self throughout the movie, especially in this conversation where Matthias says, I don't understand how you're doing this. And Luca says, the same way you are. I came from the same place as you, raised in a shack next to an open sewer. My mom worked herself sick to provide for the four of us on her own. Her boss was a real nice guy, treated us like family, but he made her work 12 hours a day for 600 a month. Is that the freedom you want? Luca here is making a point that Mateus eventually figures out. Neither of them have a choice. And at the end of the film, Ezekiel burns Mateus as a reminder of who he turned his back on. And in the final shot of the film, as Mateus finally escapes slavery at the junkyard, Mateus sees the burn scar on his arm. The scar will forever be a haunting reminder of the guilt Mateus has to live with for a choice he never actually made. All right, this is my analysis. Subscribe for weekly videos and please send me recommendations. And please let me know your thoughts and ideas about Seven Prisoners I would love to discuss. I hope to see you again and thank you so much for watching. See you later.